Hey guys, we are shooting this uh, lunar eclipse today. In Bangalore, the lunar eclipse started at 6 p.m. Uh, maybe it might have started at 5:49, but because of this building, uh, we were we were unable to see. But so somehow we were able to see lunar eclipse right now. So making this quick time lapse, you can see lunar eclipse. Making this quick time lapse, and let's see how it comes. I'll post the result in our channel. Please do subscribe. Give us a like and do comment. Share your feedback. Thank you. It was going so far good, but suddenly this cloud completely spoils this time lapse. We'll see. The cloud also can play some time dramatic roles. Hope it will clear out soon. Lunar eclipse is completed and we have complete moon. So right now I am just continuing the shots. I change the setting right now to F9 and I moved from FX to DX format right now. F9 and then uh, it's, it's, it's still in evaluate metering. The timeless interval timer is going on 10 seconds interval for each shot and right now I configure for 55 more shots. Since, since the moon is in very good shape right now, you can see here. Yes, we'll see how the time lapse is coming. Thank you. So far so good, hope you like it, but I got a couple of feedback from Instagram users, moon is moving so fast of what? and if moon can be kept stationary, we can see phases of from the lunar to complete moon, but that is possible if you move camera and lens along with the moon, and for proper movement we need we would need gimbal, which 500mm not sure is possible. Hence, I decided to compile from these images only. To do that, I have created 4K resolution images and kept circular shape in center using game. Here you can see. Next thing I did is this image I imported in DaVinci Resolve and increased timeline like 20 seconds. Now start placing all moon images one by one. When we keep moon image in on 4K placeholder, those that 4K placeholder will be hidden. Hence, you need to select screen composite mode. Every time you keep moon image images select screen screen from drop down as composite option here both images are on a screen now but our moon is behind this dummy circle so from setting zoom and adjust the position so that moon falling behind this white dummy circle come exactly on the same size of the white dummy circle and it should be behind the this white circle. Do this for all the images. Sometimes you can select multiple images as a timeline and then adjust the position of the moon according to the 4K circle for each frame by frame and then make sure that the moon, our actual moon is falling behind always behind this dummy circle.
Once all image placements are done, then delete that 4K dummy image from timeline. <coughs> and you will see your actual footage. Drag and review if alignment is correct. Then finally export the video. Now we are good guys, let's check out output. I would say not bad or not very good as well, but with better planning and alignment, a smooth static moon transition can be achieved. So guys, hope you like this video and tutorial. Give us like, provide your feedback in comment section and most importantly please subscribe. It takes lot of effort and time to create such videos and your one subscription really motivates us. Thank you.